Hi there, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new here, I do lots of upcycling, repurposing, and DIY content. In today's video, I am upcycling a pickle jar, and you're not gonna believe the transformation. It is gorgeous. I've turned it into a faux crock, and it's really easy to create. And I'm gonna share the technique with you today. And I also wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Okay, we got lots of work. Let's get started. I had this huge pickle jar that I've washed out really well. Sometimes it's really hard to get the pickle smell out. Little tip, soak it overnight in a little bit of bleach in your kitchen sink. I've taken it outside and I'm gonna give it just a light coat of spray paint. This will just help my project adhere better than just being on straight glass. For this project, I'm using some modeling clay, air dry clay that I can find at my dollar store and it works really well. Uh, if you can't find it at your dollar store, you can always find it at your local craft store or Michael's or on Amazon and the DAS modeling clay works really well. I'm gonna flatten this out until it's about a quarter of an inch thin and just kind of flipping it over. I've got it on a piece of parchment paper that's dusted with a little bit of cornstarch. And I'm just gonna roll it out until I know that it'll almost go around my whole jar. Before we put the clay on the jar, I'm coating it with just a light coat of my Mod Podge matte. You can use any type of Mod Podge gloss matte because we're not gonna see it. It's going to be underneath and it's acting as a glue on the clay. Now while the Mod Podge is still wet, we're going to roll it in that air dry clay and shape it around that pickle jar. Um, it might not fit, I might need a little to add a little bit more, but once we get it on the jar, we're gonna mold it and shape it so it fits really well around the edges and everything. So you can always add little bits if you need to, uh, to get it completely covered. Okay, I got it completely covered. I had to add little bits and pieces of clay here and there. Now I haven't completely covered the bottom, but I've rolled it around the edge a little bit. And now I'm just taking some water, dipping my fingers in the water, and I'm just smoothing it out, making sure that it's really blended in really well. And I haven't missed any places uh, with some clay and just making sure that it's really sealed well around that whole pickle jar. Now I have this metal table that I have in my shed that I paint on, it's covered in paint. But when I put the parchment paper down and roll that pickle jar in it, the texture it creates from all that paint on the table is fantastic. So a mess has created something beautiful. Now I'm gonna use one of my molds that I made. I just posted a video, DIY silicone molds, and what you can create for your DIY projects with these molds are beautiful. This is just one of them. I used a little dollar store frame to create this mold and I'm putting the air dry clay into it. And then very carefully, I'm going to take it out of the mold and isn't this gorgeous? We're gonna add this right into the middle of the pickle jar. Now to get this to stick to our jar, I'm gonna use a paintbrush. The bristles are kind of stiff in this. We're going to dip it in some water and then press it quite hard into that clay. And we're going to do the top of that piece with the frame mold and add some water onto that and scratch it up a little bit. And then we're going to very carefully press it down. You don't wanna press it too hard because you don't wanna lose any of that detail in the molds and set it aside and let it dry. Now I decided I wanted to add two little handles on either side. So I've rolled out a piece of the clay and I'm just gonna shape it until I like the shape of it and it looks like a handle. It's gonna prove to be a little bit tricky to get both sides the same, but I'm gonna do the best that I can and just kind of mold it and press it into that clay so it attaches really well. Once you see this all finished, you will never throw out another glass jar in your recycling bin. You will want to turn all of them into little mini crocs. I'm obsessed. Okay, I think I'm happy with the way that it looks. I've got the handles on, the mold on the front. We're gonna set it aside and let it dry overnight. If you appreciate a good DIY, you need to subscribe to Skillshare. If you've ever had any questions or just wanna learn more about crafting, then Skillshare is a place for you. Skillshare is an online video-based platform where you can learn anything from photography to calligraphy. And the difference between Skillshare and YouTube and why I like it so much is it focuses on interaction, much like being in the real life classroom. The instructor lays out steps and information in a way that's easy to comprehend. It's also ad-free so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills.
With new classes being launched every week, there's always something to discover. And I just finished taking Samantha Parker's ceramic and pottery class for beginners, and it was amazing. I've certainly taken my air dry clay techniques to the next level because of Samantha's class. For less than $10 a month, you can learn a new skill. And the first thousand people to use a link in my description box or my code will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So try it out and let me know what you think. Now, I don't want you all to panic because the next day, this is what it looks like. Air dry clay shrinks. So when we put it around the jar, as it dries, it pulls apart and it creates these fantastic cracks. So, but we're gonna embrace it and I'm gonna show you the next step. We are now gonna decoupage over this whole pickle jar. I've got one ply of a napkin and I've tore it into little pieces and we're just using the Mod Podge mat and we're going to add those pieces all over that whole pickle jar. Just putting a light coat of Mod Podge over each piece of that little torn napkin and then getting the next one and layering it up until it's completely covered. And this is what it looks like. You can still see the indents of the cracks, which we want to embrace, but it's going to make it nice and sturdy and strong. It's also giving it a very authentic look of an old antique crock. If you've never used air dry clay before, don't be intimidated. It's really easy to work with, and I didn't use any special tools to create this crock. I've got it completely covered with that torn napkin. Now I didn't put any on the mold because it will be fine and it has adhered really well, but we're gonna set this aside, let it dry completely before we finish it off. It took a couple hours for it to dry completely, but now it's ready to paint. I'm mixing up just some acrylic paint and I'm trying to get the look of an antique crock, which is almost like a linen color that I see in most photos. And I'm going to apply this with a sponge. The sponge will just give that texture of a crock more than if you have brush strokes in it. And you can see as I'm applying that paint, you're still gonna see those big cracks and you're gonna see all that texture just by putting a light coat of that acrylic paint on. I had some of this antiquing dust from Country Chic and I'm gonna use that. I think it's just gonna give it a little bit more of an aged look. You can also use a dark wax or you could even rub some mud into it or some um, dirt and it would give you kind of the same effect. This is just a dust that you just kind of dab on. It's gonna stay in the little nooks and crannies and just give it more of an aged look. Now I created these graphics. They're available in my Etsy store. If you wanna try this project for yourself, I'll put the link down below in the description, but I absolutely love them. And I'm, for this one, only gonna use the number five. So I've cut that out and we're going to apply it right in the middle of that frame. I printed this graphic off on my laser jet printer, making sure to reverse the text and I sized it. I'm putting a liberal amount of Mod Podge completely over it. You wanna put quite a bit on because the clay is ab absorbent and you might not have a really good transfer if you don't get enough Mod Podge on there. I've let it sit overnight. This is the next day, put a little tiny bit of water on it. You wanna go really slow or you're going to reactivate that clay. Do little small sections, dip your finger back in the water if you need to, and just take your time and you'll get a great graphic transfer. Now that I've got that all done, I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna seal it up with a polyacrylic sealer using the matte finish. And I am in love with this. I've made some of these and I always really love the way that they turned out, so that's why I wanted to share this technique with you today. And like I said, you'll never look at glass jars the same way now. Imagine all of the possibilities. And if you haven't had a chance to check out my video where I DIY'd some silicone molds, you gotta watch that one. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and it's inspired you to try to make one of these yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Take care.